Welcome to Mitch Fit. My name is Mitch, and today we'll be doing a 30 minute at home workout. This workout includes traditional strength exercises. I like to keep it simple. All you'll need is your body, no extra equipment needed. I like to do this workout when I'm on vacation or I have limited time and I'm not able to go to the gym. So find a spot in your home, lay out your yoga mat, or have a rug or carpet for some padding. Let's get into it. First, let's start with some side to side leg swings. Balance on one foot and swing your legs side to side, feeling the groin and your hip. You can have your hands on your hips or you can have a hand against a wall to help with balance. Perform 10 repetitions on each side. Next are front and back leg swings. Balance on one foot and swing the other leg forwards and backwards to feel in your hip flexor, hamstring, and glute. Perform 10 repetitions on each side. Last in the warm-up are arm circles, perform 10 repetitions in each direction. The first exercise we're going to do are body weight squats. For this, have your feet shoulder width pointing straight ahead. Keep the weight on your heels and squat down where your thighs are parallel to the floor. Keep your feet pointing straight ahead and knees pointing straight ahead during the entire movement. Also have your upper body at the same angle as your lower leg, keeping a straight back. You can have your arms extended straight ahead to help with balance. If you're not able to do proper form during this movement, you can use a chair to sit on. This can be especially helpful if it's difficult to balance keeping the weight on your heels. We're gonna do 15 repetitions for three sets, do as many repetitions up to 15, always doing proper form, and we're gonna rest for one minute between each set. If you wanna use a chair, you can skip to the third set to see how it's done.
next exercise we're going to do are push-ups. For this, have your hands shoulder width and your body straight during the entire movement. In the down position, keep your elbows 45 degrees away from the body. If you can't do proper form, you can perform the push-up on your knees, which you can see in the second set. We're going to do 10 to 12 repetitions for three sets, and we're going to rest for one minute between each set. Next, we'll be doing some bridges. For this, lay down on your back, have your knees bent and your feet flat on the ground. Push through your heels and lift your hips up where your body is straight. You wanna have about 90 degrees in your knees. You don't wanna feel this in your lower back, you only wanna feel it in your glutes and your hamstrings. If doing it with both legs is too easy, you can perform it with a single leg, which I do in the second set. We're gonna do 20 repetitions for three sets and we're gonna rest for one minute between each set.
next exercise are back extensions. For this, lay down on your stomach with your arms extended forward. Lean backwards and bring your elbows towards your body. Make sure to keep your head in a neutral position so you don't cause any strain in your neck. We're going to do 10 to 12 repetitions for three sets, and we're going to rest for one minute between each set. The last exercise we're going to do are some planks. For this, go on your elbows and toes, lifting your body up, and keep your body straight the entire time. You don't want to feel this in your lower back. If you do, stop there. We're going to do it for up to one minute for three sets, and we're going to rest for one minute between each set. If you can't do the plank for one minute, you can use the remaining time as some extra rest.
To start the stretches, first we'll do the open book. For this, lay down flat on your back, bring one knee up at 90 degrees, and grab it with opposite hand to pull over your body. Feel it in your hip. We're going to do this for 20 seconds on each side. The next stretch is the pretzel. Still on your back, you're going to now bend your legs with your feet flat on the floor. Bring one ankle and put it on the opposite knee. You're going to reach through the legs with one hand and around the leg with the other to grab your hamstring and pull it towards your chest. You're going to feel it in your glute in the leg that has the ankle on the knee. Perform this for 20 seconds on each side. Next, let's do the groin stretch. For this, go onto all fours and extend one leg straight out to the side. Feel it in the groin of the extended leg. Perform this for 20 seconds on each side. is the hip flexor stretch. For this, get into a lunge position with both knees at 90 degrees. Keep the down thigh straight down into the ground. You don't want to lean forward as this will compensate for the movement. You're going to squeeze your glutes and rotate your hips backwards to feel it in the hip flexor in the thigh that's straight down. Perform it for 20 seconds on each side. Next, to stretch out the quadricep, grab your ankle with the opposite hand. You can either pull with both hands to get an extra stretch, or you can use one hand against the wall to help with balance. Perform it for 20 seconds on each side. Now to stretch out the hamstring, bring one heel onto an elevated surface and keep your hips facing forward. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg in your hamstring muscle. Perform it for 20 seconds on each side.
Next, to stretch out your calf, push against the wall in a staggered stance. Keep your back leg straight and push down through the heel to feel it in your calf muscle. Perform it for 20 seconds on each side. Next, the shoulder stretch, or the elephant. Bring one arm across the chest and hold it in place with the other arm. You'll feel it in your shoulder and even your upper back. Perform it for 20 seconds on each side. Next, to stretch out your chest, place one hand on a wall slightly above your shoulder. Keep your arm slightly bent and twist away from the wall to feel it in your shoulder down to your chest. Perform it for 20 seconds on each side. Lastly, to stretch out the tricep, bring one elbow up and over your shoulder to feel it in your tricep muscle. Perform it for 20 seconds on each side. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the workout. It's a workout you can do anytime, anywhere, as long as you got 30 minutes. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to check out more of my programs or workouts, you can head to my website, mitchfit.com. See you next time.